Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture on the Poisson's ratio. First, let us learn about lateral strain and linear strain. An object having a length L and breadth B, when the load is applied, it stretches in one direction and contracts in another direction as shown. Due to the tensile load, it increases the length DL and breadth of DB. Now, the lateral strain is the ratio between change in breadth to original breadth. The linear strain is the ratio between change in length to original length. Now, let us learn about the Poisson's ratio. Poisson's ratio is the ratio between lateral strain to linear strain. The Poisson's ratio does not have any unit. The Poisson's ratio value will be between minus 1 to 0 0.5. It is denoted by mu or v. Mathematically, it is the ratio between lateral strain to linear strain. Effects of Poisson's ratio. When any object is stretched, it will tend to compress in the lateral direction of applied force. Poisson's ratio measures the strain value of the material. For example, imagine a rubber band. When it expands it will become thinner. Poisson's ratio for different materials. For tensile deformation, materials will show a positive Poisson ratio. For compressive deformation, materials will offer a negative Poisson ratio. For a negative Poisson ratio, the material will show a positive strain in the transverse direction. The Poisson ratio for any maximum materials, the value will be between 0 to 0 0.5. Now, let us see the Poisson's ratio for different materials. For cork the Poisson's ratio is 0. For concrete the Poisson's ratio is 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. For foam, 0 0.1 to 0 0.5. For steel, 0 0.27 to 0 0.3. For cast iron, 0 0.21 to 0 0.26. For stainless steel, 0 0.3 to 0 0.31. For rubber, 0 0.5. For clay, 0.30 to 0.45. For gold, 0.42 to 0.44. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Thank you.